Hello and welcome to a new episode of Journey to the Chateau, here from the beautiful Chateau de Colombe in saint Baudel. It is the battle for the courtyard. <laughs> Bonjour à tous, bienvenue à Journey to the Chateau de Colombe. I surprised them there. Ah, wir zu unseren Freunden aus dem deutschsprachigen Raum. Herzlich willkommen, neue Episode Journey to the Chateau. Es ist der, der Vorhof, der Kampf um den Vorhof der, für die, für die uh, Gäste des Sommers. Right, so as many of you may recognize, we are here today in our bed and breakfast room, our completed bed and breakfast room. It is, isn't it? It is completed. <laughs> <laughs> It's very exciting to say that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and uh, we are uh, getting ready to start having guests stay yes. here, right? And we're working in the courtyard to get things cleaned up as well, because we've got a few little, little projects that all need to be done in the courtyard. Yeah, and who wouldn't like to go to a, a, a lovely... 17th century chateau and uh, not have a nice courtyard instead of uh, a slight disaster. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what we're working on today. Yep. Now we had lovely weather here. Uh, we have had more rain in our region uh, than anyone can remember. Mm -hmm. And uh, some of you might remember we have, uh, when you stand in front of the chateau, the left part of the chateau has a cave from, uh, we don't know, it's, some people said it's from the 12th century, some people say it's from the 14th century, right. it's a cave. Yes, and we're pretty sure that it is older than the actual chateau itself. Yeah, very much, yeah. but so uh, what, They did about, I don't know, 80, 70, 60 years ago. They uh, put the everything, the rainwater is collecting in that cave, which on the long, in the long run uh, for us does not work. Right, yes. They, they decided that they were going to use it as a cistern. Yes, and which is very smart in a way. I mean, that's, that's not the point. But it's, uh, it, it raises the humidity in the left part of the chateau. So we need to actually slowly get that all out. So we're using all this rainwater to um, water our plants, water the, the um, potager, so the vegetable garden, which is at this point non-existent because we have had the time to do it. Right, <laughs> right. And now we have a new water feature yes. in the courtyard, which actually can use the water as well. And a lot of water, that is. And, right. oh, and so we have these big planters. We have way more plants to water in, in the front. So We can use that water, uh, that, that rainwater for, for our irrigation uh, purposes. Mm -hmm. That is fantastic. So have a look at that.
So our honey electrician John is in this next segment and so what we're going to show you what we're doing and what we're planning but there is for we're talking about the lighting in the courtyard oh, by yes. the way. Oh that. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. We oh. do we do already have plans for things that we want to do. John has already started implementing specific things uh for lighting in the courtyard. But we are sort of, sort of on the fence about uh, some additional lighting that so, we might do. watch this and then we are going to ask you a very specific question that we really want your feedback.
So one gate's lit, lit up, the next gate is coming soon. So mm -hmm. it's really amazing. <laughs> it's, I think it's we so were so romantic. I know. <laughs> we were we were actually quite shocked. Flabbergasted. And how good how good that looked when we it, turned that on. And yeah, you know, which something we haven't shown or well, it's it's difficult to capture with a camera, but when what you're walking out and you see the, the light comes up. So the, the big tower now has actually the sh shadow of one of the urns projected. And it's, of course, it's so much bigger. It's fantastic. I mean, it's just right. lovely. Right. So we have both of the gates that are into the courtyard. And uh, we have the, the lighting that you saw that was in that is also on the inside and the outside yes. as well. So it's really romantic. Yeah, it's really. it very nice. So it's actually, uh, and that's something we actually haven't even done yet. No, we haven't. Is to go out and see how that looks from the outside, which once What's the other, with you, <laughs> <laughs> once the other gate is done and the other lighting is done, you know, we'll do a whole episode showing everybody what all that lighting is. It, it's, it's, because it looks yes, fantastic it's, on the chateau. It's lovely. And, and um, now, one thing we're not decided on. Mm. So should we put spotlights on the fountain so that the fountain is lit up in the evening or could light up in the evening. We don't have to, but we can. And then should we do actually flood lighting on the f four, well, on the, the, well, the on, the, on the facades of the, the, entire of the buildings in the courtyard. Yes, thank right. you, that thing, what, right. what, what he just said. And that would be something that, that if we do that, maybe that's something that we could have for special events or something, yes. but we really wanted to know whether or not we should go through the trouble of doing that. For yeah, the lighting. what do you think? Right. I mean, so it would right. be, because, so here's my thought. So we have all these lovely, um, you know, the lanterns up, up front, which were never there. So. Uh, so that lights up the courtyard and suits said, well, you know, how about having floodlights for the, the four, well, the, the whole chateau and the two wings mm -hmm. uh, and having it color changing, which I kind of like, but maybe it's too much. Let us know in the comments mm -hmm. what you think, what we should do, because we're, we're not quite 100 percent sure. Right. And, uh, and that will I think be, he's going to win again. Anyways. Right. And, that, and that will be one of the and that will be something that John will probably work on fairly soon. So. Uh, yeah, if we can get Ooh, your, would be great. if we can get your feedback on that, then yes. that would be great. We can get those ordered, and he can get that uh, set up for us. Yes. Right. So let us know. Right. So other thing we want to mention is again we're here in our bed and breakfast room, and we do have links on our page on YouTube and in the video descriptions. We have a link to reserve and book this room for on Airbnb, yep. and we also now have. Booking.com. We have it on booking.com. So again, you can go to another link that is also on our YouTube page yes. and on the video description. So there's two places you can go to to actually book our bed and breakfast room. Yep. So fantastic. <laughs> it is fantastic. So yeah. So that's it for this episode. So if you like, please give us a thumbs up. Like and subscribe. And I know most of you who have watched the video and subscribed to many other channels, but not us. Please subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And if you want to support the renovation of the Chateau, you can join us on Patreon. And we have received actually quite, or got quite... Lots of new patrons. It's so fantastic. Thank you, thank thank you, you so much. So much. Yes. And you can buy us a coffee. Yes. And we will see you on Wednesday. Absolutely. Au revoir. Au revoir. Bye. Happy weekend. Bye. Bye. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, please use the like feature to let us know. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our Journey to the Chateau YouTube channel if you would like to see more. Once you've subscribed, you can tap the notification bell in order to ring it, which will allow you to receive all notifications from our channel. Thank you.